Hi guys, Carlos here and in this video I'll be talking about Warren Buffett's portfolio as of the quarter that ended in 31 of March 2020. But first, I just want to ask you to subscribe to my channel so you can follow my dividend investment journey here on YouTube and don't forget to drop a like in this video. As of the quarter end, Berkshire's equity portfolio contains 50 stocks with the top 5 holdings occupying 69.46% of the portfolio and the top 10 holdings occupying 84.23% of the portfolio. Berkshire's portfolio has a value of 175.53 billion. And the top sector in this portfolio is financial service, which represents 37% of the portfolio. The second sector is technology, which represents 37.01%. And the third is consumer defensive, which represents 15.74%. Then we have industrials, that is around 3%, basic materials 0.24% and the real estate only 0.19%. The largest holding in Berkshire's portfolio is Apple, ticker AAPL. Berkshire owns about 245 million shares of Apple and this tech giant occupies 35.52% of the equity portfolio up from the December 2019 weight of 29.74%. Apple is a dividend payer with a dividend yield of 1.03% and a payout ratio of 26.55% and it's been growing its dividend over the last 7 years. The second largest position in Berkshire's portfolio is Bank of America, ticker BAC. Berkshire owns around 925 million shares of Bank of America, which represents 11.19% of the equity portfolio. Bank of America has a dividend yield of 3.18%, with a payout ratio of 46.81% and 6 years of dividend growth. The third largest position in Berkshire's portfolio is Coca-Cola, ticker KO. Berkshire owns 400 million shares of Coca-Cola, giving the position 10.08% weight in the equity portfolio. And Coca-Cola pays a dividend yield of 3.64% with a payout ratio around 87% and it's been growing its dividend over the last 57 years, which is really amazing. Next we have American Express, ticker AXP. Berkshire owns around 151 million shares of American Express giving the position 7.39% weight in the equity portfolio. American Express has a 1.93% dividend yield with a payout ratio of around 50% and 8 years of dividend growth. The fifth largest position is Wells Fargo, ticker WFC. And Berkshire owns around 323 million shares of Wells Fargo, giving the position 5.28% weight in the equity portfolio. Wells Fargo has a huge dividend yield of 8.44% with a also huge payout ratio of around 142% and 10 years of dividend growth. Next we have the Kraft Heinz company, ticker KHC, and Berkshire owns around 325 million shares of uh, the Kraft Heinz company, which represents 4.59% uh, in the portfolio. The Kraft Heinz company has a dividend yield of 5.34%, with a payout ratio of 68.77% and zero years dividend growth. 
Number seven, we have Moody's Corporation, ticker MCO, and Berkshire owns around 24 million shares, which represents 2.97% in the equity portfolio. Moody's pays a yield of 0.87% with a payout ratio around 27% and it's been growing its dividend over the last 18 years. Next we have JP Morgan Chase, ticker JPM and Berkshire owns around 57 million shares of JP Morgan Chase which represents 2.96% in the portfolio. JPM pays a dividend yield around 4% with a payout ratio around 69% and 9 years of dividend growth. Number 9 we have US Bancorp ticker USB and Berkshire owns around 132 million shares of US Bancorp that weights 2.60% in the portfolio. US Bancorp pays a dividend yield of 5.10% with a payout ratio around 68% and 10 years of dividend growth. Each of these nine companies I just mentioned weight at least 2% in Berkshire's portfolio. But the entire portfolio has 50 stocks as I just mentioned in the beginning of this video. And you can see the list with all stocks here in the site Guru Focus. And I will leave the link to this website in the description of this video. You can see here and analyze all the companies included and I will just show you the last two that has been sold out by Warren Buffett and those are Philips 66 ticker PSX and the Travelers Company ticker TRV. These two companies uh, have been sold out by Warren Buffett and uh, are no longer part of the Berkshire's portfolio. Hope you enjoyed this video and again if you want to follow my dividend investing journey here on YouTube don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.